Hey yo, hey yo, back once again, I, Ivy. Um, it was reported a couple of days ago, uh, what July 6, twenty two. That's when uh, supposedly Lil Travisso got got in a car accident and he passed away. But that's only like half the truth because cause now there's new reports, there's new video out there that uh, actually Lil Travieso, so so he was cruising through uh, Immortal Mobile Park in Colorado Springs, and um, I, I don't know the whole situation, but but he ended up getting shot up, shot at actually several times, and one of the bullets hit him. I don't know where, probably in the chest area, because he succumbed to his injuries, so it has to be like somewhere in the chest area. Or something like that, you know. I doubt it's gonna be in the head, or it had to be somewhere around here. He got shot at like four or five times, and uh, so that's the new reports. At first, I mean, I I seen it from uh, 44 Vato, 44 Ville, that uh, he passed away, Lo Travieso, on on July 7, early that morning. So it was freshly out there, but now now there's actually reports, police reports, there's actual video out there, news reports. That uh, Little Travieso passed away from uh, from a drive by, you know. I guess they caught him up. Uh, that people had to know that was him just ro rolling by or something through the uh, motor park, mobile park. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was actually driving a, a Oldsmobile on on rims, and uh, the, the the windows was tinted, so I don't know. He probably spot spot him out, you know. But uh, so new reports is that uh, yeah, he got shot at, shot at, one bullet hit him. And so sometimes, I mean, that just shows that sometimes it just takes one bullet to, to get you type of thing. Cause, cause, fifty cent nine bullets took nine bullets. Um, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people out here in the streets, they take multiple bullets and still survive. You know, so it depends where it hits you. I guess you take multiple bullets in the arm. It's no big. You could you come out, or you know what? Probably not. You know, so hey, who knows? It all depends on the person. But new reports, he passed away. Hey, let's let's get to the article. All right, autopsy has been completed on the Colorado Springs shooting victim on July 6th. Uh, July 6th, Colorado Springs PD received reports of shooting at a Immortal Mobile Park home park. Uh, they got this, this identified the victim as 19 year old Santiago Sal Saleros. Yeah, that's wrong right there. Hey, I don't know why this article got it. They put in a different other person, or you know what? Hey. You know what? This might be a tent, Illuminati tent, like it's on top of Tupac tent. Because July 6, 2022, that's when um that's when Lo supposedly got shot. And then uh, right here on, on this article, they're saying that the victim's name was Santiago. And uh Lo Travieso's name was actually Rafael. Uh Socoto. So hey, hey, what do you guys think about that? Like is this like Illuminati attempts on top of Tupac attempt? You know what I'm saying? To fake his death and, and blow the fuck up? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It could be. But this article, I don't know. It might be just be this article. All right, next, we got we got this video. I'm, we're going to show it, and then we're going to just talk about it. A man is now dead following an overnight shooting in Colorado Springs. It happened on the southeast side of town near Sierra High School, not too far south from the intersection of South Academy and Shelton. Carrie on News Channel 13's Jessica Grunling explains what happens. This is what's left of the crime scene this afternoon. You can see the damage done to that carport and the blue car Damn. sitting in the driveway. Neighbors say that's where the victim crashed his car after being shot. The owner of this truck had a rude awakening Thursday morning. He didn't speak on camera, but says around 11 o'clock last night, he heard multiple gunshots and then a crash outside his house. His neighbor is the one who called 911. She didn't want to show her face on camera. Well, I just Perfect. hear uh, four shots, and later than that, I just hear the, the like so flash with uh, the truck, the white truck. And so so Lothar Bessel was trying, trying through the mobile park, you know, he probably has some buddies over here, over there, you know, the room up park. Maybe he lived there. I don't know. But um, driving through and, I, you know what? I guess he, I don't know. He probably had beef with some people in the mobile parks and they spotted him and they shot at him four times, bye, 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 um, from a distance. So, you know what? I, I, don't, I don't think they wanted to kill him type of thing, but they just wanted to shoot at him, you know what I'm saying, type of thing. And um, so one of, one of the one of the bullets out of four, like, Hit him. Uh, so I mean, he sped off, 
and then the crash crash into the to the carport into the truck. You don't see it right now. Let's go. And then we just came outside, and we see that guy there. All right, this is the vehicle right here. So you guys are old, old mobile, Oldsmobile. The back windows ten. I don't know if we got the windows down. Uh, let me see where he at. And we just called to the nine one one. She says it took a few minutes for police to get there and waited with the man until they did. We turned off the car. We don't want to see something explode from the front. According to Colorado Springs Police, they found the man still alive with at least one gunshot wound. Paramedics Where though? tried to get Where though? Where had to be somewhere over here by the R or something. The man's stable, but he did not survive his injuries. Probably yeah, bled out to death. At the moment, yeah, I was really scared because I never see So it happened at nighttime. Well, like this is during the day. Like what the hell? You still there? Yeah, a person like that. No. Investigators say uh, they will release more information once the crime scene is. Let's pack in their bags. If I remind them, some people are gonna be like, "Hey, it was still there." Nah way. Yeah, nah way. A person like There's that. There's a bag right here. Investigators say they will yeah, like release more information once the crime scene is processed. At this time, no arrests have been made. <laughs> Reporting in Colorado Springs, Jessica Grundling, KRDO News Channel 13. There you go. So ultimately, you know, that's how he passed away. Hey, rest in peace, Lil Travieso. Hey, he was doing numbers. Hey, the first time I heard Lil Travieso, that was from uh, from this video, Thuggin'. I stay walking around with a phony on my waist. Hold up, best is out of bus. I'm about to catch another case. About to put him in his place. By the lays, that's flat. Why would say they want a truce, but I ain't going for that. Yeah, I ain't going for it. I ain't going for nothing. Brought up with... Between Lil Nate from Latin Beast, Latin Beast TV. And um, yeah, I was like, boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, hey, it, was, it was, it was a banger, and you know, getting a million subs from from that video, like, he popped off real, and so he was, he was the uh, the face of Colorado Springs to so, you know the Park side, and uh, man, you know he was doing his thing and stuff. You know, he, he collaborated with Sweetie, Sweetie Blue, he uh, collaborated um, uh, who else? Sweetie, I mean, hey, Bozo, shout him out, shout out to Bozo from Bam, Fan First. Yeah, he uh shout him out, you know, uh, a little, little danger from East Side Teresa, you know, Brown Side. He shot it, he shot it out a little travieso. So, yeah, he was popping. Was good. She had lyrics, you know, he had a rhythm and all that, and he was popping. So, uh, yeah, shout out to little travieso and hey, rest in peace. Yeah, um, as always, as always, you know, like when it comes to Chicano rap, he, I mean, he's a Chicano. He, he didn't probably he probably doesn't fall uh fall under the category of Chicano rap or maybe he does, he probably he does because part of Chicano rap is game banging music so for sure he, he was game banging on, on tracks and all that and so yeah so hey and do you guys feel like he fall under the Chicano rap umbrella? Excuse me. Well yeah yeah hey if you think about it. So uh yeah so rest in peace to young, young Chicano legend, a, a young legend in the making and also a legend in the making. The good always die young. The the evil always die miserable. Always live on this earth like longer than everybody. Like what the fuck is up with that? You know. Well, anyways, uh, there that's what it is. New reports. It was a drive by, a bullet that got him, and uh, we will never know how far it would have taken taking this this rap music. So that's what it is, man. Hey, that's a harsh reality. Hey, they say being a rapper is the most dangerous job out there, and it looks like it is. You know, cause. You gotta brag, you know. You gotta, you gotta pretty much like put yourself way up here and and and, and stomp on people type of thing. So, hey, it's Javi right here. I'm by the end of the video. Hey, thanks for those that watch this video. Thanks for those that hit the like. You know, comment down below. Those that hit the subscribe button. Yeah, more to come. Hey, rest in peace to Mr. Night Out. I just did another. I mean, Mr. Mr. Night Out, the first kind of rapper that really put in. Put it on the map for real. You know what I'm saying? Like all the the OD remixes with with the rappers. Yeah, Night Out did that first. Uh Little Rob follow. Mr. Mr. Little One, Little Rob, you know, the rest, Mr. Shadow, and and then it just trickled up to Los Angeles and and then later on Capone and the criminal, you know, Mr. Criminal. But hey, yeah, yeah. Shout out to all the greats. Um if it wasn't for them, like, you know, where, where would you kind of rap be type of thing? And that's what it is. And peace out until next time.
Vamos.